Parts of the San Joaquin Valley in Central California are sinking faster than ever due to excessive groundwater pumping as the state deals with a devastating drought. Some areas are experiencing nearly two inches of sinking per month, a trend that could damage infrastructure such as bridges, roads and aqueducts. According to geologist and NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory researcher Tom Farr, a co-author of the report, the rates can be as much as one foot per year. Or, or, uh, well, it depends quite a bit on where you are, but the, the maximum rates are up to about a foot a year. And uh, so it's pretty significant. And it's basically a function of the fact that the drought is causing the farmers there to pump a lot more groundwater. As they pump the groundwater, the, the land sinks. So it's likely to continue until we start having some more rain and we can start replenishing the groundwater table. Long-term sinking has already destroyed thousands of private and public groundwater well casings in the agriculture-dependent valley adding that over time, more sinking could permanently reduce how much water can be stored in the underground aquifer. One of the concerns the Department of Water Resources has is the uh, effect on infrastructure, uh, bridges, uh, dams, roads, and things like that. Uh, right now we're seeing some bridges are no longer above the water surface. Uh, some people say a certain bridge there in the Central Valley, the water will be flowing over the bridge soon but also it affects uh, places like the California Aqueduct, which depends on gravity for the water to flow down to uh, Los Angeles. And uh, low spots on the aqueduct will prevent the water from flowing as well. Land sinking, also known as subsidence, has happened in the state for decades due to groundwater pumping during drought conditions. But NASA's report showed that the sinking is occurring faster now. Farr said that one of the consequences of the subsidence could be flooding once there's rainfall. One of the problems with this subsidence is that uh, there's new low spots that we're concerned about that will flood. And of course, if we start getting more rainfall, say an El Nino occurs this year, uh, that'll create a lot more water uh, flowing over the landscape and that'll collect in these low spots that uh, we previously didn't even know about. The California Department of Water Resources said it will launch a $10 million program to bolster conservation. The department also said the program would be funded through the $7.5 billion water bond passed by state voters last November, which was part of the most significant statewide investment in water supply infrastructure in decades. Yeah, these uh, fine grain layers that are down in this uh, kind of layer cake geology that we have in the Central Valley, uh, if they collapse or compact too far, it turns out that they will no longer be able to absorb water. Uh, so there's a certain percentage uh, that you can lose permanently of your uh, storage capacity. It's not the, the whole thing, but it's a, a, a significant percentage that could be lost permanently. The data for NASA's report, which was prepared for the department, was based on satellite imagery showing changes to the Earth's surface over time.